Good morning and welcome to The Homestead. I'm gonna to talk to you about something today that I've never talked to you about before, at least in depth and in detail, and that is our debt-free journey. And how we went from paycheck to paycheck to being able to pay for things like this with cash. Let's talk about it. So with our solar system and our greenhouse and our water system and everything you've seen me put in here, we have paid for it with cash. And I'm gonna talk about today our history and how we got to this place, uh, some mistakes we made in the past and a whole bunch of other stuff that I hope helps you in your journey. Let's head inside in our solar room because it's a little bit better place to talk. So we are in our solar and food preparation room and we're gonna talk about what our debt-free journey looks like, where we are in that journey right now because it is a journey, how you can do the same and how we live. And like I said in the intro, I hope this is helpful for you and I hope it helps you to get started so that you can live a lifestyle like this if you're not already doing so. And please friends, don't misunderstand me. This isn't a video saying, well, I paid this amount off and I paid that amount off. No, it's not about that. It's about helping you and encouraging you that you can do it too. And I certainly understand that God is no respecter of persons. So it doesn't matter if you have $10 million in the bank or $10 in the bank. God looks at you the same way. He looks at me the same way and I'm fully aware of that. So our journey started about nine years ago. My mom had bought me a book by Dave Ramsey called Total Money Makeover and it sat on my shelf for probably 10 years before I picked it up. But something told me in the back of my mind to pick it up because it was getting unsustainable the amount of credit card debt that we had and the amount of car debt and the amount of house debt and all of that combined together with student loan debt. So I knew we needed to make a change. And at this point, I didn't even know we were gonna be moving out to the country. So what that Dave Ramsey program teaches is for you to pay off the smallest debt first in its entirety and then snowball the amount of money you've been paying on that debt into the next debt and into the next debt and into the next debt as they increase in size. That really worked. It really did a great job at getting us started. Now, we didn't stay on that track. David probably killed me for doing that, but <laughs> it's okay because we've arrived where we've arrived by dedication to wanting to be debt free. And full disclosure, I said this was a journey. We are still not 100% there. We still have a mortgage on our house. Could we have paid off the house at this point? Yes, we could have. If we were to forego a lot of the big purchases that we have on the homestead right now that we needed to get the homestead started. But it looks like we have gotten everything for our homestead that is necessary to keep it running efficiently with all the things that we need to produce food for our family, power for our home, so on and so forth. So just in the last couple of months, we've started to tackle the house debt. So even before that nine years ago and starting to pay off our current debt, we had an issue with income because I had been laid off numerous times in the architecture profession. And at that point, we were putting things on credit cards that we probably didn't need to, and it was unsustainable, and it grew out of control from there. And the reason I'm telling you that as a testimony is so that you have encouragement that if I've gone through it, then you can do it too. You can dig out of that hole. There's just a few things that you need to do to do that. Now, I know I'm not talking with every single one of you. There are some of you who are disabled, who are on a fixed income and so on and so forth. And I've struggled with that, honestly. I'm gonna be completely honest and lay it out for you right now. When, when people comment on the channel to say that they don't have any money at all, they're barely being able to buy food and so on and so forth, my heart goes out to you. I, I honestly, I do not know what to do for you. I give you advice uh, about you know contacting your local church family, if you have a church family, um, and, and seeing if there's help there, but I, I honestly don't know what to do. And it, it kind of hurts my heart a little bit that I, that I can't help, but I can't help. I can only encourage you, and if you're a Christian, I can tell you that God will take care of you. I don't know, if anybody else who's watching this has any other suggestions for people who are 
older, disabled, are on a fixed income, want to live this lifestyle but can't, need help uh, in maybe growing their own food or something, please leave a comment in the section below uh, to the general audience. So we paid off our debt and that was the first thing. And we kind of did it in conjunction. You're supposed to do it first before you buy anything new. We kind of did it in conjunction with buying new things. So we could have paid off our debt quicker and then it jumped into buying things for the homestead like the greenhouse or the water reclamation or whatever it is. So we started living life very frugally. Now there were things that we did need to buy but other extra things we totally cut out so that we were able to put that toward the debt. And when I purchased things, I was very frugal about what I bought. I did get things off uh, Craigslist and Facebook Marketplace and use things here and there. Some things are new that I thought needed to be new for their quality. Um, but, you know, I got a scratch and dent dryer from Sears when it was still open when we moved up here and just stuff like that. So we made sacrifices to not get super expensive things but things that were still quality if you know what i mean you know i have a lot of friends who seem to be doing well they live in a nice house they drive new cars uh, and they have toys that they can play with they go on trips all over the place and some of them actually don't have any money they're living paycheck to paycheck their debt is not going down more than the minimum payments they're barely making the minimum payments on those paycheck to paycheck weeks uh, and so do they really, really have any money? I would say no. Um, if they sold everything that they had, they would have maybe a little nest egg, but then they would have to downsize. And that's part of the thing that you need to think about doing if you want to live this lifestyle is cutting out anything that is unnecessary and completely downsizing. So as an architect, I understand that in the 19. 60s and 70s, the average size of the American home was roughly 1,400 square feet, 14 to 1,500 square feet. That has ballooned up to about 2,600 square feet, being the average that the American home is. And everybody sees the real estate prices right now. That is something I think that is, is detrimental. That we need to downsize our lives. We need to downsize the junk. We need to downsize all the uh, just things that do not mean anything and get our debt under control, get our savings up so that we can do things like this. So I've actually wrote down what we've purchased over the last seven years out here, the big purchases. Now there's some little things that are mixed in here that uh, we're not gonna be able to talk about because I don't know how much they cost. You know, little stuff, little trip to Home Depot here and there, it's probably 100, 200 bucks, give or take every single time now. And the reason I'm telling you this is to give you encouragement. It, it, like I said, it's not to say, oh, look what we bought, ha ha. Uh, it's not like that, guys. I really want you to understand that if you get your finances under control and I'll talk about income in a minute get them under control get that debt paid off then you can afford to do things like this so we paid off our solar we paid off this our student debt I had 50 grand in student debt we bought the propane tank full uh, should I tell you how much everything is uh, I don't know um, we added this addition onto the house uh, I was able to buy a truck if you didn't see our video on me smashing into the deer in my old Explorer, my 4x4 Explorer, um, which actually still runs, the deer didn't destroy anything that would prevent it from driving, but it was totaled out, So, uh, and I got a salvage title on it. Um, but I needed a new truck to drive while it was being repaired. Um, so I, I bought the truck um, from my friend Pete B at Pete B's Homestead. Uh, we bought a mower because we needed take the grass down around here to prevent snakes and ticks and everything to get by the house, right? We bought the greenhouse, we bought the new uh, air conditioning mini split units, we bought the wood stove, uh, a lot of tools, guys, a, a lot of tools uh, that you're gonna need for here. Um, we've bought a lot of materials, I guess, you know, for like fencing and the garden and, um, you know, raised beds for the, the treated wood and all that kind of stuff just adds up so quickly. Uh, we, we took a couple trips because you need a break sometimes. Um, and my wife is from the Philippines and her family's still there. So we, we had to, you know, we went and visited them. That, 
doesn't cost a little amount of money. Uh, and then the tractor, of course, which is extremely valuable. All total, it was about $150,000 over seven years. So that is what, 19 grand a year, give or take, somewhere in there, 19, 19 grand a year. I knew I needed to start something, so I started this channel. And this channel does bring in an income for our family. So uh, it supplements my wife's income, which I might talk about on some future video. But we were able to pay all that off, and I know you can do it too. You have to start. If you never start, you're never going anywhere. You have to start. You have to change your mindset about getting rid of debt. Now, I know I'm not talking to those who are, who are disabled and are on a fixed income, I'm sorry. It is those who um, are living paycheck to paycheck. They have a good job. They wanna live in this lifestyle, but they don't know how to get there. I wanna talk to you. You didn't get into debt overnight, okay? It took you a long time to get in, into debt where it's unsustainable. And so it's going to take you a decent amount of time to dig your way out of it. And so I'll, I'll go back to Dave Ramsey. So he always talks about picking up an extra job. If you can pick up an extra job, you can do it. In 1994, I was making money to send myself to school, to Michigan State University. And I was working two jobs. I'd work at a dog kennel during the day and I'd deliver pizzas at night. In 1994, I made $13 an hour delivering pizzas. That's a solid, really good amount of money. I could have lived on that in 1994. A solid, good amount of money that you can, you can probably make more now, right? That's a great extra income just for a few hours per night. You can do it. Start somewhere, start anywhere, start right now. Buy that book, The Total Money Makeover. It will help you to change your life, but you have to change your mind and follow it. So whenever you see me with something new here, I always pay cash for it. I save, I wait, and then I buy it. All right, this is, this is a, a patience test as well. You know, I see stuff all the time on homesteading channels that I admire that are big uh, and they have a lot of things. And I'm sure they've done the same thing that I have done and I'm not coveting those things. But if I see something that would be beneficial to me here and go look at the price of what it costs, I'm like, oh goodness, that's, that's a pretty, pretty expensive thing. But I'm gonna set my mind to saving for that item and putting aside money for that item. Uh, whatever it is, I've got something behind me that I might show you, I don't know, uh, that's made packaging beans like this so much easier. Um, and it took me a while, it took me a few months to save for it. We, we have to get out of living in a instant society where you can have something like that or you see something, you click on Amazon and set your house in two days. You can't do that. You can't do that if you wanna live a debt-free lifestyle, unless you've dug yourself completely out of debt, you've got none of that left, and you're, you have a still a stable income, and then at that point, once you pay for your kid's college, if that's what you wanna do, or you pay off your house, or whatever the order is in the total money makeover, uh, the debt snowball, you do it, okay? I know you can. I wanna encourage you that all of you can, and it starts up here. Have a beautiful, blessed day. Now click on this video to see how much we initially paid for our solar setup. We'll see you on the next video.